wrote to G.H. reveals that after discovering Lucky and Elizabeth's investigation, and the security footage proving Cyrus entered Sam's room shortly before her death, Cyrus immediately realizes the threat against him. Cold and ruthless as ever, Cyrus refuses to tolerate anyone standing in his way, especially as the truth begins to emerge. A deranged individual with a twisted mind, Cyrus justifies every destructive action he takes as necessary. Obsessed with saving Lulu and reuniting her with Dante, he is plunged headlong into an unescapable spiral of crime. Sam's death was no accident. It was a calculated move in Cyrus's cruel plan to eliminate her and divert attention from his secret operation to free Lulu. In his deluded mind, Lulu is special and needs rescuing from her supposed constraints. Killing Sam, a person he deemed an obstacle, was merely a necessary step. With ruthless precision, Cyrus used Digitalis not only to ensure Sam would no longer be a threat but also to frame Elizabeth Baldwin for her death, shifting suspicion away from himself. Cyrus's next scheme is a grotesque mix of madness and cold calculation. He plans to orchestrate a medical accident in the very hospital where Elizabeth works, a setting ripe with potential risks and opportunities for staged mistakes. Secretly, he infiltrates the hospital's drug supply with vials of counterfeit medication laced with deadly poison, disguised as routine treatments. He selects a critically ill patient, knowing that any error could easily be attributed to the high-pressure hospital environment. Cyrus meticulously arranges for Elizabeth to be the primary caregiver during this patient's treatment. An anonymous call during her night shift provides false instructions on the drug dosage. Aware of Elizabeth's dedication and diligence, Cyrus is confident she won't suspect the seemingly logical directives. Once tragedy strikes, all eyes will turn to Elizabeth, transforming her from a star nurse into a scapegoat for the patient's death. But Cyrus's plan doesn't stop at discrediting Elizabeth. He seeks to torment Lucky Spencer, the one person capable of stopping him. In Cyrus's sick narrative, Lucky will uncover the conspiracy, but fail to save Elizabeth in time. Cyrus plans to leave behind a faint clue, a trace clear enough for Lucky to deduce his involvement, but insufficient to convict him. This will plunge Lucky into despair, feeling powerless to protect the woman he loves most. Moreover, Cyrus believes that with Elizabeth gone, Lucky will have no reason to stay in Port Charles, leaving Lulu free from Lucky's interference. In Cyrus's warped mind, eliminating Elizabeth isn't just about securing his secret, it's about creating a freedom for Lulu that only he can control. Will Cyrus Renault's schemes be exposed before Elizabeth Baldwin faces catastrophic consequences? Cyrus has left no room for failure, ready to eliminate Elizabeth if the plan falters. Time is running out for Lucky Spencer and his family as Elizabeth becomes an increasingly precarious target of this madman. Recognizing the urgency, Lucky calls on the Spencer family, including his mother Laura Collins and other close allies, to devise a way to save Elizabeth. Together, they begin piecing together evidence, from the security footage to inconsistencies in medical records. The Spencer family's determination becomes the last hope to unmask Cyrus's crimes. Meanwhile, Elizabeth, sensing the imminent danger, secretly collaborates with Lucky to provide inside information from the hospital. This only makes Cyrus more dangerous as he prepares one final plan to eliminate her directly. As tensions escalate and both sides race to act, even the smallest misstep could have devastating consequences. In a bold final effort, the Spencer family executes a daring plan to protect Elizabeth and expose Cyrus's crimes. However, events are unfolding at a breakneck pace, and the biggest question remains, will they save Elizabeth before Cyrus makes his next move? Time is running out, and everything hinges on their ultimate decision.